it's nice to choose themes that are not only based off of the children's interests, but also based off of what's going on in the natural world around us. Right now in Kansas, the bugs are in full force. They're pretty much everywhere. And because children are natural little scientists, they're naturally curious and drawn to bugs and insects. So I just think right now is just the perfect time for us to do a bug theme. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that I love putting real images and artwork on the walls. I just save these in Google searches and print them out on my printer and that way we have some amazing beautiful prints for the children to look at, always making sure that they are on their eye level. And also we are going to be doing a picnic in our dramatic play, a picnic setup. So I've got these word cards and some pictures of families having picnics and a little baby having a picnic and I love that they can see a real image of the real thing happening and that just helps them act out and do their role playing and we'll have all the supplies and everything we need for them to build a little picnic basket and have fun with that and then one of our projects that we're going to do is this what's in the grass sticker and cutting activity so they'll cut green paper into strips making like a grass and we'll glue it onto the blue paper and then they'll hide the little bugs in the blue paper behind the green grass and then also I downloaded a packet off of teacher pay teachers this is from teaching two and three year olds and it's a picnic packet and there's a ton of great resources in there and there's this cutting activity where you cut the hot dogs and then also this one was a place setting activity and I'm going to use this one also for a cutting and gluing activity they've liked these before and then also I've gathered up a lot of different coloring sheets most of these are freebies other than the watermelon one that one came in a packet which I will put all these links below. I love just being able to have so many options of different things to do and being able to pull out a coloring sheet, almost one for every day. The kids just love them. We'll use markers, crayons, or watercolors with those. And then also I love having little mini books. So I found this my bug book. This also is a freebie. I just cut these up, have them available, and they can color them and they love having their little books to take home to read with mom and dad. I'll use this like a pre-writing activity. These are just bug word writing cards and the kids who really don't understand the letters yet they just are practicing drawing on the line and being exposed to literacy as well as the image connected to the literacy. So there were some more things in that the picnic packet. Cute little ant counting activity where you match the ants to the numbers and then all these other math ones and then there's some count and clip cards and some other freebies. And in our circle time we're going to be doing this ants go marching song with the props and then also itsy bitsy spider so I have these out ready to cut out and put on my popsicle stick. I have some fun uh, books that I'm going to add to our library. These Eric Carl books are great for social emotional skills and discussion so this is what we'll be doing for that and then also this is a beautiful late summer book uh, Fireflies and the Grouchy uh, Ladybug. Always a classic so we have lots of new fun books to explore and read with the children over the next couple weeks and then this is a really fun little lacing activity very simple wooden watermelon with a little worm that's going to go in and out of the holes all ages really in my group love these lacing activities with the wood objects. This was a set I had of wooden cutouts and you make the design that's on the card and so I just pulled out the bug cards and I've got these on the trays with the wood cutout just so there's just a few options and then it goes with our bug theme and that will be very fun as a tabletop activity. Also this is a little bug counting game and color matching game utilizing fine motor skills with these alligator grabbers. So these are all very cute little bugs and we can play some games with this. Get some counting practice and some color recognition in. For my tray play activities I love having just little stampers or stamps and these are just little bug and um, insect stamps that we can play with and then also have some puffy stickers. We had fun with the dino ones so I found some bug ones. I think they're gonna love these. The puffy stickers I found are pretty easy for them to peel off. That's another bonus. Our sensory bin I've had the kinetic sand in there and they've loved it so much. I'm just gonna keep the sand and I'm gonna replace the dinos that we have in there with these little fun bugs 
and these bug tongs. I found these jars at the dollar store and I think they're going to be great for making little personalized bug jars and maybe we can put some stickers on here or and poke some holes in the top and we can go outside on some bug scavenger hunts and maybe collect some little mini beasts to keep in the little bug jar. Also this summer at the dollar spot at Target I was able to snag some of the butterfly nets. So this will be fun to take outside, give us some options of some different things and maybe they'll just be catching bubbles or maybe we'll have a scavenger hunt with our little toy insects but I think we'll find some fun things to do with these together outside. Just always kind of making sure we have something for the outside and then also this is a puzzle that I had in my closet. It's a Melissa and Doug insect puzzle and it has this little magnet net that they can gather the bugs with. So I'll put that on a tray with a basket. Just kind of turn it into a tabletop activity. Now it's my turn to go and just kind of gather all this stuff up, all of my things, get them organized, get them into my files and I'm going to pull out my teacher planning packet and if you don't have that or haven't seen my previous about how to use it make sure to check that out. I'll put that link down below as well as the free packet to download and that's just a way to organize and get all your thoughts together and remember what you're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis but still just keeping it simple and fun yet meaningful. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned because once I get all this together and set up in my room I'm going to do a classroom tour and a little video of the kids playing with it. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.